Yo, what's up everybody? Um, welcome to the channel. This is my first attempt at trying to get a video together. So our first episode is actually going to be about this guy right here. This is my 01 Forerunner Sport. So I've always been asked to do like a walk around or build part list and you know I just never had time. Ironically this is probably going to be my last time recording this thing on my first video. <laughs> but maybe this is a good time to you know kind of go over things before I part ways. So real quick again 01 Forerunner SR5 Sport. I got the sport hood right there. I got the BX built headlights with the pure 4x4 engraving on there. A little hard to see. So I got the True North um, hybrid open plate bumper with the Baja XL Baja Squadrons. Savage um, skid plate. 65 inch sliders. Prince of Roof Rack. Cali raised LED uh, light bar. We got the Joe's equipment panels. Water port, sorry, it's so dirty. We just came from Forest Hill on Sunday. Haven't really had a chance to clean it out. We got the Work S1HCs all around with a spare. Uh, these are 17 um, by eight and a half minus 10 offset. Got the black decals on there. Um, yeah, True North rear bumper with a swing out. Baja RTL, uh, Rotopacks on this side, Overland Pros, 270 degree awning. All right, let's hop in this thing, let's check it out. You know, we got the sport interior, uh, Pioneer deck. We got the Wolf Box rear view camera, which I don't know how to use actually right here. So it has a front camera as well, which is kind of cool. Um, it stays recording. I can do a split view. Uh, kind of adjust, you know, the position of the camera as well. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's just, you know, pretty stock. Got a lot of trash in here that I'm going to clean out today. is going bye bye as well shout out to Tanginemo all right so here's the back got the uh, raggo panels back here uh, currently have my air hoses mounted on there first aid kit I had my air tank here but it's currently down here just chilling uh, needs to be refilled Pardon the mess and ice bear's fur, which I'm gonna clean up today. Sheesh. Um, this is ice bear for reference. So anyway, JL Audio 10W6, uh, 501 amp, nice little for sale sign. And this camera back here. Uh, let can show off my bow switch also. So I'll turn on the lights. So here we got the front LED uh, light bar, uh, the two fog lights, the halo, uh, my Baja RTL, and these are the rock lights. So as you can see a little bit, rock lights are on. These are McTuning rock lights. These are by the way, my King Shocks with BTF upper control arms. So here's the lights on, fog lights, BX built headlights, Kelly Ray's LED light bar. And my Baja RTL, which is great for off-road use, especially when you're on the trails and it's dusty or snowing, you can't really see, uh, people can't really see what's in front of them. Uh, this really helps a lot. And maintaining that um, visual. 
So we'll turn that off before my battery dies. And then we'll open the hood. All right, so there she is in all its glory. It's kind of a mess since we went to Perry City, but I'm gonna be swapping this out for the new owner. Um, try to clean this up a little bit too as well. But it's really just a bunch of mud, dust, stuff you'd probably get into anyway while going off-roading. But I just wanna make sure that the new owner has the cleanest possible forerunner leaving my hands before they inevitably get it dirty anyway. But, you know, I'll try. So one of the first things I'll be doing before transfer is taking out this plate, pure T4R. That right there. And we'll be hooking them up with a new license plate cover, pure 4x4, let's go places. Uh, available on the website, pureaddict.com. New sticker. And then we'll put this on here. Fun fact, this is actually going to Arizona. Uh, I'm not really gonna say which town or which city in Arizona, but yeah, this California car is gonna be in an AZ. Shout out to Arizona. So my wife says that I am a hoarder. Um, I guess it's partially true. I mean, I do keep certain things like, you know, like these boxes, original box for the JL audio amp, Gear America shackles. Um, I think this is the Vo switch box which is my switch controller. And I think it's just nice to have these things, you know, especially if I'm gonna be selling the truck or getting rid of certain items in the truck. I think it's just nice to be able to hand someone the original packaging, you know, to let them know that, you know, you take care of your stuff. I am a hoarder, as you can see. This is a lot of camping and base camp stuff. But after I sell this thing, I'm gonna be cleaning out this thing, I promise. All right, one thing at a time. This V11 is a little dirty, but it does work. It's what I use for the house, the car, my dog, and everything else. So it's good to work. All right, so a couple minutes in, uh, I got most of the hair on this wheel arch on both wheel wells. I still got to work on this back seat. This is all Ice Bear's hair, fur by the way. This is what I've collected so far. So yeah, this is why I have him in the back because if I didn't, and if he was in the back seat, the whole back seat would be covered in this. So don't get a Samoyed if you uh, hate cleaning up or vacuuming your seats. This is crazy. All right, so pull these seats down. You gotta pull this right here, All right? And pull this right there. Now we got access to this fur. I can clean the back here too if I need to. And yeah, back to work. So in just a couple minutes, this is kind of what built up. It looks a lot better now. I gotta hit this a little more. So if you got pets, I recommend these grooming gloves. It really helps do this a little easier. So see how fast it comes out. So that comes out pretty quick. Looks a lot better already. So here's the LS. I uh, figure while we're cleaning, we might as well start it up. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I highly recommend this Hulkman uh, jump starter. It's really small, fits in the back of your seat, under your seat. Um, it's cheaper than a NOCO. Just hold this right here. And it honestly lasts forever. I probably jumped my cars 20 plus times and both the LS and the 4Runner and never really had any issues. Um, I just actually charged it for the first time in probably a year and it's, you know, it lasts that long. So highly recommend that.
UL package, so it actually has all the controls right here. You can tilt forward, backward. Um, I believe there's a massage setting also. Yeah, right there. There's a massage setting right here. You got the AC controls right here. Uh, let's turn that off. So 135. Let's raise it up. Clear the air out back there. So this is the highest it goes. As you can see, it's pretty freaking high. Built. All right, so I had to move both vehicles because I got to clean some stuff out in the garage, but here it is on level ground. Here's the LS in the driveway. back that's a quick little lunch break over the pile all right so next thing I'm doing is swapping out this muddy battery everything's just super caked in there it's just time to go all right we got the battery in place looks a little cleaner I'm um, we'll crank it up and check out the voltage make sure we're good Tied down, good to go. All right, so it looks like it's about to rain. So we may have to postpone this maintenance to tomorrow. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out um, if the buyer is gonna be shipping or picking it up. All right, welcome back. It's Monday, January 10th. This is gonna be the last morning with the Forerunner doing some last minute things to make sure she's ready to go. And I uh, just finished clamping this uh, Ford cat up. Noticed a little rattle at 2000 RPMs. Um, it sounded like a, almost like a fan shroud um, rattle and I couldn't find it until I looked up online and everyone in the forums were saying that, you know, try clamping the forward cat up with some hose clamps so it seemed to have worked um hopefully that fixes that so we're just gonna clean her up next as you can see it's super muddy still from the snow we'll start off by moving it and closing it down This is as clean as it's gonna get. Alter came through. Got the new oil slick pure decal. It's like a dark hologram. Probably see it better with the sun. Let's put this down. And we got Aldrin's Tacoma. 
Bay Area Metal Fab up top Overland Brute Metal Fab makes me want a second gen I just took it for a little test drive and 100% that sound is gone. So if you have that raspy noise, be sure to use two uh, hose clamps, five inch hose clamps. Um, and I should take care of it. I'll show you. The metal was loose and it would make a raspy noise uh, every time I get around 2000 RPMs. But yeah, it's fixed now, so that's done. All washed up, ready to go. We got about an hour till the tow truck comes here. Sheesh. All right, about 10 o'clock transport should be here any moment just had to load some miscellaneous parts and boxes and manuals and intake I never installed um, for the new owner it's probably gonna be one of my last looks you can actually see this hologram better now it's the new oil slick by the time this video is up it should be on the website pureaddict.com and yep there she is. Let's go places. It's going to Arizona. All you're out here still watching his truck. All right, it's really starting to set in. Um, they should be here any moment, but damn, it's gonna be gone. This thing is gone, gone. So before she goes, I want to give him a few things. Pure LFG patch in red yo lfg pure 4 by 4 and the pure tech logo so i'll throw these on here right now sit this blank oh shit. two hours later all is done Pure 4x4 etched. Wow. Breakfast, we're at. Wow. So the black. Alright, so. Uh...